this season again? I don't know what I don't know what's about to happen. I mean, it's, <laughs> after these first these first two practices, is you you never you know can can gauge it off of that. We just you know trying to you know go over some you know defensive schemes and you know get people get guys acquainted with one another. Um, you know, get up and down, get back into basketball shape. Uh, and that, that's that's what we've been doing, man. It's, it's, we haven't, you know, put in sets or anything like that. We've been going over our, you know, our plays that we always have. But I, I, the first, you know, couple of days has just been us getting out there, getting up and down, running, getting our lungs back, getting our legs back, you know, you know, getting the physicality back into the game. Um, some teaching, you know, that, that's what it's been the first two days. Thanks, Mel. Next question is coming from Dwight James with NBC Sports Northwest. Okay, Mello, I'll be the guy. Is our long national nightmare going to be over? Are you going to be wearing number seven or not? I don't think so. I, I think it's this. this uh, it's, I think it's too much money involved. You know, too many jerseys has been ordered. You know, NBA has you know has they they deal with with, with their with, with their partners. Um, it's too late. It, it wasn't something that. Uh, that I actually was thinking about. I think it was more so the fans and, you know, my fans, you know, put the petition out there and put it out there. So it was, it would have been great for me to do it. I appreciate, you know, Brandon saying that, you know, those those words that he said about me and, you know, me wearing that number. But if I could have got it, it would have been great. But it's, 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 it's no biggie. Next question is coming from Brooke Olsendam with Trailblazers TV. Hey, Melo, um, so much has been talked about so far in these Zooms about the focus on team defense and that it already feels different with the new personnel. Have you noticed that so far? Yeah, of, of course. But again, it's, it's two days in. It's, it's hard to see it. It's hard to say it. Um, but the personnel is definitely diff definitely different. Um, the schemes, our schemes are, you know, are different. Um, you know, we, we've definitely been focusing on that part of the, uh, that side of the ball playing defense and team defense and talking and communicating, you know, and, and figuring out what works for us and our personnel that we have on this team. Next question is coming from Jason Quick with The Athletic. Hey, Melo, we've seen a little bit of video from practices and whatnot, but can you provide us maybe some snapshots of moments that have stood out to you of, of your teammates that you were, went like, wow, or stuff that you go home remembering from that practice well I, I, just the the intensity right the, the the level of intensity that you know that we all playing with um you know anytime you 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 know your first day at training camp can be shaky it can be iffy can be you know can can be random sporadic at times but you know yesterday i thought we had a honestly i thought we had a great practice and that's not that's not cliche that's i honestly feel like that based off of you know, it being our first practice and getting ready for a game Friday and just, you know, preparation. But overall, everybody has been, you know, locked in, um, you know, know what, know what to expect from everybody. And I see that, you know, I see the communication out there has, you know, everybody is talking, everybody's communicating. But, you know, again, it's, it's second day of training camp, right? It's, it's you know, it's, we got a long way to go when it, when it comes to really, uh, establishing who and what we want to what we want to be no great dunks though no nobody who can't miss I mean, we got we, we got we got one of the best one of the best dunkers in the world right so we you know he, he caught some oops he caught some loves he you know it's that's that's always fun and, and to be a part of mm -hmm. next question is coming from sean hyken with bleacher report mellow given that you are going to be coming off the bench this season have you thought at all about the sixth man of the year award is something you might try to you know shoot for if you can have it like 15 16 17 a game or off the bench is that something you're interested in or thinking about at all i haven't i haven't thought about it until you just said it to be honest with you um i just i just want to play ball that's it i just want to play ball continue doing what i'm doing continue doing what i know how to do uh playing at a high level whether it's starting or coming off the bench i mean that's yeah, I know we talked about it. it hasn't been I don't think it hasn't been established we haven't seen that in practice yet so whatever's going to happen I, I think for me personally I just got to be ready for whatever that situation is and you know I, I think by I think now I'm I'm past the you know the the the, the, the part of I might come off the bench or I'm coming off the bench and just that whole thought process I don't even want to think about that 
anymore. I just want to play basketball, go hoop, enjoy it, you know, continue having fun with, with, with this game and helping this team out. Next question is coming from Orlando Sanchez with KGW. Hey, what's up, Melo? Um, it, it was cool seeing a lot of the video uh, from first day of practice and a lot of smiles and things like that. Uh, how much are you enjoying this? Because I, I know you've been through this so many times, but does it still have that fun, exciting energy uh, to start a new year? Indeed, uh, in, indeed. This is, I mean, this is my 18th training camp, right? So it's like, you know, it's, there's nothing new that I haven't seen. There's, there's no drill that I haven't seen. It's, you know, it's, I, I've seen it all. So, you know, now it's, it is about, you know, me enjoying it and, and continue to have fun with this and, you know, teaching and then also learning at the same time and helping guys out. And, you know, I might see things happen before guy, you know, other guys are able to see it. I'm able to help guys out, able to help talk to the younger guys. I'm, I, again, I'm just happy, man. I'm, 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 I'm enjoying it. I want to continue to enjoy this. And I, you, you, if I stop having fun with it, it's time for me to go. I said that before. So it's right now, and I'm, I'm still enjoying the game. I love the game. Uh, and I, I feel like I'm back, you know, where I need to be at. Next question is coming from Jamie Hudson with NBC Sports Northwest. Yesterday we talked to CJ about getting his body right. And obviously with the shortened off season, I'm curious what your concern is or concern level, I guess I should say, of, of any injuries this season. And what do you think it is the feeling throughout the week? Well, again, I, I can't, I, if I, I can't really like think about injuries and things like that, that, you know, what that feeling is, that's, that's the inevitable, right? It's, it's going to happen. Uh, we just try to prevent it. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a long season. I mean, it's not like we're getting ready for, you know, a, a, a eight games and, you know, going straight to the playoffs. Like we, we have a long season. You know, our thing is we just want to get, you know, off to a great start, off to a good start, you know, at the beginning of the season, but it's not going to happen overnight. You know, we, we, even though we've been training and working out and individual working out and, you know, you still have to get, you know, in sync, you still have to get into basketball shape. You still have to, you know, the feel of the game, the flow of the game, the physicality of the game has to come back. So, you know, I, th that has to happen. That's, that's going to take some time. You know, it's unfortunately that we was only, we started yesterday. A lot of teams started, you know, days ago and we played Friday. So this, it's going to be a, a quick, uh, you know, learning process. For we got to go. It's, it, it is what it is. We can't cry over that. Next question is coming from Nick Krupke with KPTV. Mel, they say look good, feel good, play good. So how's it feel to have the braids back? I feel good. I look good. I feel good. I... <laughs> you said it, Nick. Not me. You said it. <laughs> no, I, I feel good, man. I, honestly, I'm in a, I'm in a great place. Uh, I'm in a great space mentally. I'm, I'm, I'm just. I feel good. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get back out there and play. I'm glad that training camp has started. I was anxious for that. Uh, and again, I'm, I, I just love to play basketball at, at the end of the day. So that, that makes me happy. Coming back to Dwight James with NBC Sports. Uh, Mel, just wondering, um, have any of the new guys um, made a big first impression with you, maybe surprised you, you didn't know it was there from them? Uh, what have you seen so far? I know it's just been two practices, but what have you seen so far? It's, it's hard. Again, it's two practices. It's like, you know what I mean? Like yesterday, we had a, we had a full practice. You know, just getting them down, scrimmaging, playing, just kind of getting our legs, you know, back underneath of us. No coaches yesterday. And then today, you know, it's something totally different. We had coaches today. So it's, you know, the feeling is, is different, you know. So it's kind of hard to say this person was impressive or that person was impressive. Because, again, this, this is our, our second practice, right? And it's, it's hard to say because we, it ain't like we putting anything in and seeing where guys are going and what they're doing and, it's just hard to, it's hard to, you know, judge that right now. Got time uh, for three more questions. Next one's coming from Casey Holdall with trailblazers.com. Hey, Carmelo, I wanted to ask you about uh, that project that you're, that you're involved in now. Uh, I think it's called Through the Lens, uh, some mentorship and some, some skills uh, work. I, I'm curious, uh, what was kind of your impetus for starting that? And do you see any similarities between kind of that project and maybe where you're at in your career right now in terms of, of being more of a mentor and, and guys and someone who other players look up to? 
Yeah, well, the project is called uh, Through the Lens. Uh, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, an educational um, training mentorship platform. Uh, I just, I, I wanted to, I wanted to create something like that because I, I, I'm looking at, you know, I've, I've been looking at training videos of everybody and seeing how, you know, where the training world is going at. Um, you know, there's some great trainers out there, but it, it, I, I don't see much education about certain things, about certain moves or certain areas on the court and just the, the psyche of what it takes to be great, right? And, and, and to, to master uh, a, a specific skill set of, of, of somebody. So, you know, we have myself, uh, we have Trey Young, we have women, we have Candace Parker, we, you know, we have, uh, I'm trying to see who else we have, uh, Sabrina Ionescu. Like we, we, we have a wide array of, 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 of talent right now. And it's not just men's, right? It's, 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 it's men and women, right? It's, we welcome everybody. We want to teach everybody. And for me, you know, the second part of that question at, the, at where I'm at right now in my career, it's, it's only right for me to give this knowledge back, right? I can't I'm, take it with me and do what with it? You know, I would just keep it. No, I got to give back. I understand that. I understand my gift and I understand what I have. So I have to give, I have to give that back. Thanks, Paul. Got another one coming from Brooke Olsendam with Trailblazers Broadcasting. Bella, we talked with Dame and CJ, for that matter, about uh, Dame saying, actually, it was quite, kind of promising he was going to take at least, you know, a couple half-court shots. You mentioned this is your 18th year. 18 years ago, could you have ever imagined you'd see something like that? 18 years ago, somebody shot a, a pull-up three from half-court, you coming out the game. It was just, it, oh. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was very simple back then. Uh, now, now it's, 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 it's almost becoming normal. It's, it's normalized now. It's like to see somebody do that. It's like, oh, you know, okay, Dame did that. Like, oh, he hit another one. It's like, no, he didn't just hit another one. That's people don't do that. People don't just just don't wake up and you know shoot from three quarter court or half court and with ease like that. So that's that's a we talking about through the lens earlier. That's a skill set that you can't teach, right? I, I wouldn't be able to teach that to somebody how to shoot from half court. Dame can, right? So that's that's what. Um, that's the educational part of the game, and that's why I'm starting through the lens. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Melo. We will wrap it there. Thank you.